What's up everybody, this is Carl from Techful Goodies and today we are taking a look at a 3D printer. This is the Antina, Tina 2 Plus. Now I've done a video in the past on the Tina 2 and I've used that printer for many, many months and I've actually really enjoyed it. It's kind of my preferred go-to printer for smaller type 3D prints. And this is the upgraded version. There are a couple of things that are a little bit better about this device that we will go over in this video. And I'll show you how to set it up, use it, print some stuff, see how it goes. And I've been pretty impressed, like I said. So when they contacted me and said, hey, would you like to try the new version? I said, absolutely, because I use it all the time. Let's pop this open, set it up and give it a try. So here it is, the Antina Tina 2 Plus. Now, when you're setting this up, I think it's very important that you spend some time. And you know me, I mean, a lot of times I'm not too worried about instruction manuals. You can usually figure this stuff out. But when it comes to a 3D printer like this, I always would suggest going through and looking at the quick startup guide. And it will sort of tell you before st setting this up, there's a couple of things inside you need to remove. As you can see in here, there is some tape right here that you need to remove. So I'll go ahead and remove that. And this simply just kind of holds the pieces together during shipping to make sure they don't jostle around or get damaged. Okay, we can remove this upper sticker here. Bring this tube up through the middle hole and push this little nozzle down and stick in the tube. So this is the tube that it, the filament will ride in once you put on the filament to be able to start printing. And then also in the box, you have a couple of things. You have the power adapter and the plug. They give you some test filament. This is great so you can get started right away. And a whole bag of goodies, including glue stick. This will help your adhesion to the bottom plate. I've never had to use it. This plate is good and the upgraded plate is a bit better. They give you a replaceable hot end. So one of the best Benefits about this new printer, the Tina 2 Plus, is the fact that the hot end can literally just be popped out and popped back in with no tools, which means as a beginner, you will be able to sort of replace this hot end if needed. Sometimes the hot end will get clogged or something will go wrong with it and you can just pop it out and pop it back in with no issue. They also give you this little adapter here that allows you to plug the TF card into your computer. When you're doing 3D printing, typically you're gonna use G-code files that you wanna be able to bring over to the printer to print that stuff. So you plug this into your computer with the TF card that's here in the top, and then you go ahead and put your G-code file on there and bring it over here and use this little knob up here at the top to sort of start your print. You can do it that way, or you can use their app, and I'll show that also, and the TF card itself. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop this into the upper slot. And that just simply plugs into the top here. So let me get this plugged in and we'll go ahead and set up the filament. And again, this printer is really sort of geared towards beginners, younger kids. It is just basically comes all set up and ready to go. And that's why I'm kind of taking a little bit more time stepping through each one of the steps so that you can have an idea of how to set this up if you're having an issue if you do pick this up. All right, we're now plugged in and pretty much ready to go. One of the things I do like about this printer is that it does have a couple of things that I think in the Tina 2 and the Tina 2 Plus, which are invaluable. It does have a self-automatic leveling bed. So what that means is it's gonna come down and probe the bed to make sure everything's nice and level. So when you do your prints, each one of the layers comes out nicely. And there's also, and this is kind of trivial, but there's a light on the inside. So when you're printing, because this is a self-contained unit, the light will basically help you to be able to see and watch your print as it's going. All right, so here we have the filament itself. Basically, you're just gonna pop out this loose end here. And this is PLA filament. Another one of the benefits with the Tina 2 Plus is that it allows for one extra type of filament. You can do PLA, PLA Plus, TPU, and PETG, okay? So if you're interested in what those different filaments are like, you can go ahead and just do a quick search on Google and, and look that up. But for the most case, you're gonna wanna use PLA and that's what comes with it. And then on the side, there is this little uh, hook you can bring down and basically that just holds your filament on the side there. But all you're gonna wanna do is take that loose end and I'll show it to you here on the top down view. You're gonna wanna push this little lever. So what that does is it gives a little bit of slack to be able to push this filament into the bottom. And then once that's in the bottom, you're gonna wanna sort of feed the filament through the tube. There is a filament loading process, but I like to push it all the way through till it kind of stops. So what that's done is it takes the filament through here over down to the hot end. And then we're gonna use this sort of on-screen menu right here. This little knob controls this menu. 
I'm gonna choose English as my language and it says step one load filament. I'm gonna hit next and you can see what it's doing is basically gonna go ahead and feed that filament through. But the first thing that it needs to do is heat up the nozzle. So it's gonna heat up that nozzle to probably about 200 degrees and that's that sort of melting point for that PLA. And then it's going to feed a bunch of it through to make sure it's properly feeding through and that it's all set up and ready to print. And then you can see what it's gonna do is it's gonna extrude a bunch of this filament, make sure that the filament is actually out and primed and ready to go. So this is normal. It'll go for a little while and then it'll stop. And then you just kind of take that little extra filament out and discard it. And it's gonna walk you through all this stuff here. It says put in the TF card, which I already did. And then I'm going to set up the app. So it wants you to configure Wi-Fi. This has Wi-Fi capability, so you can actually print from your phone or from your computer. Basically just take your model, rather than having to shuffle this TF card back and forth, you can go straight from your computer. And then we'll go through the setup guide here. And they go through the same stuff, unboxing, etc. And we're gonna scan this QR code that's showing up on the top here and that's gonna automatically connect to the device. So it makes it very easy to, for you to set up the Wi-Fi and the app. I'm gonna go ahead and connect to my Wi-Fi here and add in successfully. So it's gonna go ahead and set this up. All right, so once you have that all set up, you're gonna be brought into the app and these are all different sort of 3D objects that you can go ahead and just test print. The larger the community gets for the Tina 2 and the Tina 2 Plus, there are gonna be more and more things in this library that you can print, including things if you want to start uploading your own library and sharing those with the community. But what we can do is go ahead and use this knob and print from the TF card. And there's a rabbit, a phone holder, keychain. They just basically put a couple of things on here for you to print. I'm actually gonna go ahead and print this little ghost here. Let me go ahead down to this and just hit this and print. So you can see it's gonna start the process of printing. And one of the things to keep in mind the way 3D printing works, if, if you've never done it, is the fact that it will come down and it will automatically make sure that everything is level like I mentioned before. And then it's gonna heat up the nozzle and heat up the bed. One of the upgraded features about the Tina 2 Plus is that the Tina 2 had a 60 degree Celsius print bed, whereas the Tina 2 Plus has an up to 80 degree Celsius print bed. What that does is when it heats up that printing bed, it actually helps adhesion. So your first layer is the most important when you're 3D printing. So it's gonna help the adhesion to the bed itself to make sure the rest of the print will go off well without the thing shifting around or causing layer shifts. So if you're watching the front here, you can actually see that the, the nozzle is at currently at 200 and the bed is currently at 50. Just because this goes up to 80 doesn't mean it's always gonna use 80 because it's using that PLA, it's only gonna use 50 degrees for the heating bed. But if you use some of the other filaments, it does support those higher temperatures for that heating bed. The other benefit to the Tina 2 Plus is that the fact that it has a faster printing speed. I felt like the Tina 2 had a good printing speed that was around 200 millimeters per second, but this one will have a 250 millimeters per second. So that's gonna get your print done a little bit faster. So there we go, it's printing. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this print and then we will jump back in here and talk about it. And while this is printing, I'll go ahead and show you that in the app, you can actually see the status. Currently the nozzle temp is 199, bed temp is 49. It's currently printing the cute ghost and the elapsed time is three minutes and the remaining time is about 39 minutes. So you can always sort of monitor your prints remotely with the app while you're using it. So just to show you some of the prints that I've done so far with this printer, I'll go ahead and show them here on the screen while I'm kind of talking about the new upgrades for the Tina 2 Plus. So they do have the Tina 2 and the Tina 2 Plus. The new generation has a high flow quick release hot end. That's so you can replace that hot end if you need to. Has a high power heating platform so that higher power helps with adhesion. Has a much higher printing speed and you can also enable quiet printing. So if you want it to be a little bit more quiet and you're not worried about speed, you can do that. Higher speed printing, better bed adhesion, and it just comes ready to go right out of the box. I've just been very impressed by the one I have currently, the Tina 2, and this Tina 2 Plus I'm looking forward to using a lot. I know my kids will use it a lot too. If this helped you out, give me a like, give me a thumbs up, subscribe. I'd love to see you back. As always, this is Carl from Techful Goodies, and I'm out.